What's up, Tall Tannic? It's the quirky narrator here, Bored Badger, here to narrate another video. Hope you liked it. There have been thousands of crashes and accidents since planes hit the scene, and most of the time, those wrecks are found quickly. Then there are those flights that just disappear without a trace, the ones that seem to go missing and no one knows what happens to them. Such is the case for planes on this list. Although they have now been found and we know, for the most part, what happened to them. This is a list of lost and missing aircraft found. Number 10. Air Tractor A Vickers REP-type monoplane was converted for use as a sled during a 1911-1914 Australasian Antarctic expedition and was eventually left behind after its pistons became jammed due to the freezing conditions. The plane was initially going to be used as a search and rescue and reconnaissance tool, but a crash during a test flight in Adelaide, Australia just two months before the expedition rendered it unflyable. It was brought along anyways and did its job after engineer Frank Bickerton converted it to a sledge, as you can see here, and it towed four sledges until its pistons jammed. It was pulled to Cape Denison, but then left behind when the expedition returned home, and there it sat from 1913 until the late 2000s when a team began looking for the remains of the plane. Pieces were found between late 2009 and 2010 when a season of very low tide and low ice exposed parts of the plane right where it had been left. Sophisticated equipment have indicated that it's buried 3 meters below the ice where it was left back in 1913, and until a good way to get it out intact is thought up, it shall remain where it is. Number 9. Hell Diver A plane that was being used for a training session by Navy pilot E. D. Frazar and Army Gunner Sergeant Joseph Metz went down in Lower Ote Reservoir near San Diego on May 28, 1945. There the plane sat for 64 years following its crashing until 2009 when it was spotted by a fish finder on a boat that two men were fishing on. They contacted officials and the officials contacted a salvage company. The plane wasn't brought up until 2010, as you can see in this picture, but when it was, the son of pilot E.D. Frazar was there to watch it come up, as was the regular gunner for the plane, Robert Kofnevik. On the day the plane crashed, Kofnevik let Metz take his place on board the flight. Both Frazar and Metz were able to swim safely and hitchhike back to their base. Number 8. Ferry Battle A flight headed for Reykjavik from Akureyri, Iceland on May 26, 1941 ended in disaster when it crashed into a mountainside during lousy weather. On board were four RAF, Royal Air Force, airmen, all of whom perished. It only took two days for the plane to be found, and a memorialization took place on the site a week later but the bodies weren't able to be retrieved due to very deep snow. Then, the Royal Air Force left Iceland and left the aircraft and bodies behind, and that's when the elements took over. Snow quickly covered the craft, and it was lost for many years until a man named Ordur Garrison. He spent over 20 years searching for the plane, and it wasn't until 1999, when a friend found a report at a public records office, that he was able to identify the site of the crash, as seen in this picture. The document provided the exact location of the aircraft, and he and his team were able to just walk right up to the site, and global warming had helped melt the glacier the plane sat in enough so that the plane could actually be seen. By the year 2000, relatives of the four fallen airmen were able to visit the site, and a proper memorial service was held. Number 7. Crash in Yosemite A group of four young men rented a 1959 Piper Cherokee and were flying home from a Billy Graham crusade on July 19, 1962, when they seemingly vanished. It was suspected that their plane crashed in Yosemite National Park, but with the park's immense size, over 761,000 acres, the aircraft was not found until 1994. The wreckage was stumbled upon by a park worker near Stubblefield Canyon, seen in this picture, in an isolated area, and the personal effects found with the remains of the craft linked it to the men who had been missing since 1962. The site of the crash was so remote that it took mules to bring the pieces of the wreckage out, and it's a wonder that it was ever found in the first place. The find helped put an end to the mystery of what happened to the young men and solved a mystery that had been standing for 32 long years. Number 6. Chimborazo On a flight from Quito, Ecuador that was headed for Cuenca, all but disappeared after it took off on August 15, 1976. The Vickers 785D Viscount, similar to what's seen in this picture, with a crew of 4 and 55 passengers, literally just vanished and no one knew what became of the airliner for years. A possible crash area was produced, but search efforts turned up nothing and eventually had to be ended. Some theories popped up over time, including that the plane suffered a guerrilla hijacking, or that they merely crashed mid-flight on Chimborazo. 
a stratovolcano in the area. After 26 years of sitting lost, right where they suspected it might be, the aircraft and 59 bodies were found on Chimborazo on a new route to the summit by Ecuadorian climbers. How frustrating that they were literally right where they thought the most probable for 26 years, yet they didn't find them. I bet the families weren't super happy when they heard the news. Or they were and weren't. Speculation. Number 5. Glacier Girl Back on July 15, 1942, a whole bunch of planes, like an entire squadron consisting of 6 P-38s and 2 B-17 bombers, took off from Maine and flew towards England. At some point, bad weather and the cold caused crews aboard the planes to lose their bearings over Greenland, and a landing was forced when fuel levels became direly low. They landed on the Greenland ice sheet and waited things out until supplies were dropped three days later, and eventually, the crewmen were rescued from the ice and cold. The planes, however, were left behind and were buried in snow and ice in the following years. In 1988, subsurface radar picked the aircraft up two miles from where they were originally left in 1942 and 268 feet deep inside a glacier. Operations began to retrieve the planes in 1992, and after four months and thanks to a lot of hot water, a P-38 was brought out of the ice in pieces and was eventually restored in Middlesboro, Kentucky. The plane was dubbed the Glacier Girl, which you can see in these pictures, and following her restoration, she flew again in 2001. Number 4. Steve Fawcett Steve Fawcett, a well-known businessman and adventurer, known for holding a bunch of world records in ballooning, sailing, and in gliders, amongst others. This guy was basically a daredevil, so it's no surprise that one of his ventures is what ended up bringing about his demise. On September 3, 2007, Fawcett and his single-engine Belanca Super Decathlon plane went missing over the Nevada desert. A giant manhunt took place, and Google even aided in the search by providing satellite imagery through their Google Earth program but still there was no sign of Steve. A year later in September of 2008, the crash site, as seen here, was found in the Sierra Nevadas after a hiker found three ID cards that were in bad shape, as well as $1,005 in cash, which he reported. Downdrafts were eventually stated as the cause of the crash. Number three, Lady Be Good. This United States Air Force plane disappeared during the Second World War on its very first combat mission and was believed to have been lost, along with its nine-man crew. It successfully carried out a bombing raid on Naples on April 4, 1943, and was thought to have gone down in the Mediterranean Sea on its way back to its base in Libya. Then, on November 9, 1968, the wreckage of the plane was found in the Libyan desert by a team searching for oil from British Petroleum. From British Petroleum. The belief is that the first-time crew somehow failed to realize that they had passed over their base already due to a sandstorm blocking visuals. And they kept flying over the desert for many hours. Eventually, the plane ran out of fuel and the nine-man crew bailed out and tried to walk their way to safety. Eight of the nine survived the jump, and according to a diary belonging to co-pilot Robert Toner that was found in 1959, the survivors walked 85 miles before five gave up and three went on. Eventually, the remaining three perished as well, and all eight of their bodies have been recovered. Only Vernon L. Moore, the crew's gunner, remains missing. Number 2. The Maid of Harlech A plane that crashed off the coast of Wales way back in 1942 resurfaced in 2007 after being buried under sands and waves for 65 years. Dubbed the Maid of Harlech, the discovery of this fighter plane from the Second World War has been called one of the most important World War II finds in recent history. The plane was taking part in training exercises when its engines cut out, causing it to go down on the Gwynedd coast. Amazingly, the pilot of the craft, Lieutenant Robert Elliott, survived and walked away completely unharmed, but the plane stayed missing for decades. Shifting water moved sands and revealed the undetected plane suddenly, just off of a whale's beach. The exact location of the craft was, and still is, kept a secret to preserve the amazing find. It's possible that the plane could stay where it is and become a scheduled ancient monument because it looks as though it'd be too dangerous to pull from the seas and move it. Number 1. USS Lexington Very recently, like on March 4, 2018, a US aircraft carrier that has been missing for 76 years was found. The USS Lexington was located by a company called Vulcan, which is the company of Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. The Lexington was sunk in the Second World War in the Coral Sea, around 500 miles off the east coast of Australia. The wreckage was located roughly 2 miles deep, and 11 of 35 aircraft associated with the aircraft carrier were also found. 
The carrier sustained substantial damage in the Battle of the Coral Sea in May of 1942, and the U.S. Navy decided to have it scuffed as it was rendered relatively useless. Considering the ship is regarded as a war grave, the vessel will remain at the bottom of the ocean for all time. But this indeed is a magnificent discovery. Way to go, Mr. Allen. Well, video's over already? That was pretty fast. If you want to see more videos just like this one, stop on by Board Badger on the way out. I'll keep you entertained. See you there. Oh, <laughs>